Do I control my hunger, or does it control me? That is the question. In case you're wondering, of course the answer is I'm a slave to it. The only way to calm that beast is with food, and that's something we should all love and hold dear. Be one with food, guys. These two are having a lovely lunch together. Rachel ordered a real meal, while Ashley thought it best to eat light, her diet and all. You wouldn't mind if I snagged a french fry, would you? Or maybe a couple? You have so many after all, and they're so delicious! Wow, that girl can pack them in. Hmm. Are you ready? And she's still going! Oh, he's saved by the bell, Ashley. If Rachel hadn't gotten a call at that very moment, she likely would have had a thing or two to say to Ashley about her rather unfriendly behavior. Ashley has lost all control. Not cool, man. Huh? Oh, no. And that's what happens when diets are too strict. They're destined to fail. Hmm. Isn't that a lovely picture? Good. Ashley baked herself up some muffins and has sat down to enjoy her treats. And the cherry on top will be the whipped cream. Incoming. Rachel is on the hunt for something to snack on. But her search is in vain. The fridge is empty and the cupboards are bare as can be. Now for a true test of friendship. Rachel, it's time to ask Ashley if she has a muffin to share or if you're just out of luck. Hey! Aw, Ashley has a heart of gold and really loves her bestie. Isn't that sweet? Oh, yes! Wow, even sharing the whipped cream. Let it go, Ashley. Maybe Rachel scarfing down your muffin and emptying your can of whipped cream is a good thing. Now she owes you a delectable dessert, and you can cash in that chip whenever you'd like. And let's not forget how you just about licked Rachel's plate clean at lunch the other day. Maybe just let this one slide? Lying in bed, minding your own business, and trying to drift off, but in the back of your mind, no, 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 no. food, stuff your face. The fridge is calling to you. And blame it on sleepwalking if you'd like, but the next moment, you're in the kitchen. Why is it that food tastes all the much better when eating standing up in front of the fridge at night? This is why you should always have a fully stocked kitchen. Waiting for delivery in the middle of the night is just too painful to bear. You won't make that mistake twice. Ashley has plenty of options at her disposal. Another example as to why you should always have a can of whipped cream on hand. A shot of that stuff is the proper way to complete a midnight fridge raid. She knows where to draw the line and calls it quits. And tonight, it's ketchup. Eating that plane would be overkill, but not unthinkable. To be clear, there is no reason to ever tell anyone about your late night snacks. What happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. Hmm. I made it, the final level. Hey, Rach, do me a favor and bring me something to snack on. I'm starving. Yay! Hmm, some chips ought to do the trick. Okay. Sure, no need to say thank you or anything. Oh, no! Uh, you forgot to grab me something to drink? <sighs> Seriously? Well... Two can play at this game. If you got time to spare for a prank, pour some juice into a pot and then sprinkle in a packet of gelatin. <laughs> Give that a good stir. Set it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Okay. Hmm. Just a little bit of waiting time. Once it's cooled off a bit, pour all that into a nice tall cup. Oh, yeah. Stick that 
in the fridge and give your surprise juice cocktail a bit of time to come together. And done! Wow. Time to serve this up to an unsuspecting Ashley who has a tendency to lose all sense of time when she's gaming. Looks like that is the only way to bring her back to the real world. She doesn't seem too happy about the situation, though. Today, nothing will get our girls down. It's the freaking weekend, wow. and these two finally get to do as they please. Oh, yes. Sure, go for it. That was all Rachel needed to hear. There's no stopping her now. To mama. Um, I'll just go get another piece of bread for myself then. Rachel didn't hear a word Ashley said after go for it. She's already gone full sugar zombie and set her eyes on her latest victim. That jar of chocolate and Nutella I never saw her coming. And now it's too late. <sighs> if anyone is ever in doubt what to give Rachel, Clearly, a jar of Nutella will put a smile on her face, 100% guaranteed. Whoa, she's finished off the entire jar in 15 seconds. That has to be some kind of world record. And Ashley has just had a rude awakening about just who her roommate is. But in the end, all will be forgiven. We all have our weaknesses. There is something terribly satisfying about watching someone else clean mm. while you sit and relax for a change. Rachel is tickled pink by the turn of events and isn't hiding her feelings in the least. Oh yeah. And hey, what are friends for if not to joke around with? Take a bottle of window cleaner and wash it out extremely, I repeat, extremely well. Then simply pour in your favorite blue drink and wait for the perfect moment to pull your prank. Goodbye, Rachel. I'll no longer sit by and let you laugh at me. No. I'd say that got the desired effect quite nicely. Think she'll reveal her secret? No, 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 no. Mm, this is all mine. Cold, sweet, and darn near endless. Nice. And mine, mine, mine. Hmm. Hmm. You can put those puppy dog eyes away. I ain't sharing. Mm -hmm. Please, just one little spoonful. You're so nice and handsome. What do you not understand about the word no? Hmm. Oh. Some precautionary measures against mm. clever little Kira wouldn't be amiss, okay. however. I'm gonna tape this baby up so good that it'll be hard for me to crack it open later. Gotta do what I gotta do. What? Come on! I will defeat this! <sighs> it was easier than I thought it'd be! Oh, in my defense, I did ask first! And all I wanted was just one little bite! Uh oh! She did it then, got her sticky little fingers on my ice cream. No, 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 Holy no. moly, it's a fridge goblin scarfing down my dessert. This is nice, but I'm craving something sweet. I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find. <laughs> hey, honey bunny, share a little bite with me? Of course, Benny Bear. Gee, no. thanks. But in that case, just keep it for yourself. Well, if you say so. Yeah, and take this too. So greedy. What the? What did I do? Kira is treating herself to a solo dinner in her favorite restaurant. Hmm. Someone skimped on a bit on the parm. As he must, the waiter listens to her complaint patiently, oh. apologizes, and whisks away to right this wrong. Tableside service. Oh. Nice. Is 
Is uh, that more to your liking, miss? Hmm. Not even close. Keep grading. Yes, I said more. Who told you to stop? Oh, the cheese is mine. More. More! Yeah! Oh, there! Now there's no more! Well, that may have gotten out of hand. <laughs> bring anything for lunch, and since they're free… Oh, who am I kidding? Gotta take them all before anyone sees. Best workday okay. ever! Finally time for a break. Oh, they're all gone already? Hmm. Shouldn't have waited. Oh yeah! These two little lovebirds have been looking forward to date night all day. Ben has lots to share, and that works out perfectly for Kira, who is simply starving. So while Ben relays all the trials and tribulations of his day, Kira attacks her spaghetti like a lion catching its prey. Bite after bite, and all too soon, Kira is, well, out of pasta. She didn't have time to eat all day, you see, and her portion was far too small. And Ben is still talking. So our clever girl takes advantage of his lack of attention. Does an old switcheroo. And cleans Ben's plate as well wow. as she did her own. Finders keepers. Hmm. Huh? I was so focused on my story, I didn't even notice I'd eaten all my pasta. to fry me up some breakfast. I am so hungry I could eat a horse. Oh, I cannot wait. This is gonna be so delicious. Mm. Hmm. Didn't exactly get around to doing the dishes last night, did I? Well, this fork looks pretty clean. More so than the rest at least. And who needs to dirty a plate? Who cares? It's delicious this way, too. 